To find the hybridization for the nitrogen here in NH4 plus the ammonium ion, we'll use the Lewis structure here and we'll first find the steric number. This is kind of the fast way to do it. So the steric number, that's the number of bonded atoms. Hydrogens, those are bonded atoms. And then lone pairs. And we don't have any lone pairs here in NH4. So we have one, two, three, four bonded atoms, zero lone pairs. The steric number, that equals four. So with the steric number of four, we can look it up on this table here and see that steric number of four, we're going to have sp3 hybridization. So the hybridization on the central nitrogen here in NH4+, plus, that's sp3. We can also look at this and figure out the shape, the molecular geometry of the molecule as well. So we have four as our steric number, and we don't have any lone pairs. So zero lone pairs, steric number of four. This will have a tetrahedral molecular geometry. The bond angles, they'll be about 109.5. So that's the hybridization and then the shape, molecular geometry, for NH4+. Let's talk about why we have this sp3 hybridization, though. First, let's write the electron configuration for nitrogen, just regular nitrogen. We have a 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. So overall, we have seven of these electrons. We're interested, though, only in these valence electrons in this highest energy level. These are the ones we see in the Lewis structure. They're the ones that form the chemical bonds, and they're the ones that will hybridize. So we have our electron configuration, and from there we can talk about the energy of each of these electrons. So we're only interested in the second energy level there, the valence electrons. We can see in the S we have two electrons, and then in the P we have one, two, three. So these are going to mix together. They're going to hybridize to form four equal hybridized orbitals. And those will be those sp3 orbitals we talked about. So we have these five electrons, one, two, three, four, five. So when we look at this, these three electrons here, they're available for bonding. So let's say they form the bonds here with the nitrogen. These last two though, it looks like this shouldn't be available to bond. However, with ammonia, we have what's called adaptive bond. That means the hydrogen, it came as H plus when this ammonium ion formed. It didn't have any electrons. So both of the electrons here in this bond, they came from the nitrogen. And the hydrogen and the nitrogen share. We have hydrogen with a full outer shell. Nitrogen as well here has an octet. So that's why we end up having two here, and we still have the single bond. So these four sp3 hybridized orbitals explain why we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry with NH4 plus. They also explain the bond angles. The adaptive bond here, that explains how we can have the two in this sp3 orbital here and still have everything hybridized to four bonds. This is Dr. B with the hybridization for NH4+, the nitrogen in NH4+. Thanks for watching.